Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You know, sometimes with the hangman energy, I feel fool energy. I don't know why. I feel like this person, they may feel very stuck um, in something as well. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Uh, yeah, they're stuck in their head. This is being obsessive. This is, uh, I feel like you've become an addiction for this person. They're obsessing over what you're doing, who you have around you. Um they're realizing that they missed an opportunity here and this has come to an end with the death card you could be dealing with the scorpio as well maybe capricorn this person is trapped and honestly they don't want anyone else around you but yeah this is a cycle that's closing out they missed their shot they they missed their chance here they had this beautiful opportunity in a, as a, in a blessing in love with you, and they missed out on it. Now, I, and this person is realizing they're in love with you. I feel like they're trying to hide their sadness, their, um, their grieving, okay? They're trying to hide it, but this person's on shutdown mode. They don't want other people to see them falling apart. That's what this is. They don't want other people to see them falling apart over you, collective. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe a Virgo. Oh, yeah, this person's in a lot of pain. Holy cow. And people are looking at them like, what's wrong with you? Um, I feel like, too, people could be trying to reach out to this person. They are not acting right. They're not acting right. I kind of get the sense that this person may even want to harm themselves. Oh, they're thinking about it. They are really broken up over you, you guys. I don't even know if I should post this. This person's thinking about harming themselves and ending things, okay? Um, I don't like it. I'm hearing this is the end. This is the end. This is the end. Oh, you're about to get somebody new in the picture. They could be finding out about that somehow or maybe intuitively picking up on it. Yeah, you're. I feel like you're about to get a new soulmate connection. This person's keeping their feelings bottled up inside. I feel like they need to they need to see some counselor. Honestly, I feel like this person needs professional help now before it's too late. They are they're they're in a lot of pain. They're putting a lot of thought into what they're going to do. And I don't like that feeling, you guys. Okay? I don't like that at all. Yeah, I feel like this person may need to get some help. It's and even at work. I feel like this person goes to work. They think about this. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like the money, I think they don't have enough money to pay for all of their bills either. They're realizing they made some really bad decisions. Um, it's come to an end for this person. We've got the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. They can't keep carrying these burdens with them anymore. I feel like this person's kind of at the end of their rope. They're thinking they don't have anything else to be enthusiastic about, to wake up every day for, okay? This person wants to harm themselves. And we've got the blessing here that they missed out on on the bottom of the deck. This is the one that they missed out on. This Ace of Cups here is this Ace of Cups here. They are, they're heartbroken. They're having a hard time getting over you. I don't think they can ever get over you. Um, they, they've got too many burdens and too much pain, you guys. And they're really thinking about doing something here to themselves. Yeah, they are. They're heartbroken. They may even feel betrayed. They may know somebody who's coming into the picture here because this person didn't. 
um, and they're on shutdown mode, so they're not really talking to anybody. They don't want they don't want to deal with anybody right now. Um, there, people are noticing that there's something wrong with this person, and I hope they do notice. I hope this person gets the help that they need, you know. But you're about to be in a commitment with someone else, and they know it. Whoever's coming into the picture for you, it's this person here. Riding in like, I'm going to go and be with the collective. If you're not going to, I feel like they know this person. Okay? They know who it is. And they know that this is a good match for you. And they know it's over with the death card. And all they can keep thinking about is that death card. Okay? Oh, man. Yeah, they know they missed out on the Ten of Pentacles. They know that um, in the future you're going to be committed to somebody else and they can't stand the thought of that. They can't handle lifing right now. They can't pay their bills. They can't, they can't make enough money. They can't, um, the bill collectors could even be calling this person, you know, and I feel like they're looking back on, all of the time that they wasted in stagnancy and no communication with you. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. You know, the Seven of Swords, it's one of the worst cards in the deck. Um, it's like a theft card, right? Maybe they're thinking that the, their friend, and this could be even someone like their best friend or a close family member, is going to come in and steal this connection away from them. But they actually are looking at this like, well... You know, I'm the one who put these two swords down. I'm the one who didn't contact the co the collective. I'm the one who who had in and out energy. Like, they know what they've done. And they can't live with it. Like, oh, collective. I don't like this person's energy and where it's going. You're about to get an emperor. Somebody who is going to want to commit to you. I, I feel like this is somebody new. Your person is not in emperor energy. They're just not. And in, they're no way near ready to commit to you either. This person's there. It's like their life is falling apart around them. But what's happening internally with them is even worse. Okay. They're literally crumbling inside. And the thoughts that this person is having... Um, it always leads them back to wanting, they're thinking about doing some harm to themselves, okay? They're really standing here thinking about it. They're realizing they left you alone for too long, now somebody's coming in to take their place. And this is over. The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor, and this person is losing out. Look at all the swords here and all the wands, okay? The wands are burdens, and the swords are painful thoughts, memories. And this person's in a lot of pain. I hope somebody notices, because I feel like there's someone... There's people watching this person just fall apart. They know um, they're acting way different. Okay, this could be somebody who could have been happy and jolly with people in the past, right? Um, and then all of a sudden, they just stop talking. They don't answer phone calls. Um, they don't return any calls. They don't return text messages. Like, they're completely on shutdown mode because of what they're thinking about. Okay, I feel like somebody's going to be, yeah, somebody's alerted by this, that people are going to start coming to check on this person. Um, they, they know something's wrong. Like they, they, it feels like, um, it feels almost like an emergency situation. Yeah, people are going to be checking on this person. What else can you show me? Your person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Capricorn, um, Virgo energy, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, they don't want to talk to anybody. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want anybody to know how they're feeling. They're completely bottled up in their emotions. But those emotions 
are eating away um, on them internally. They don't want to talk to anybody. They're completely guarded. I had that on the bottom of the deck. I'm growing very concerned about this person's well-being, you guys. I feel like they need some professional help, and they don't, they don't want help either, okay? They just want to be left alone. They're like, don't show up at my door unannounced, right? I feel like they just want to be left alone. Um, yeah, this person, they're thinking about it. I just get the feeling like they don't know what else to do. You're about to get a new love offer from someone else. And, and their life is falling apart around them. So they don't see any light of hope. Like really, you know. And you were everything to this person. You're the true treasure out here. They know you're single. You're happy. You're beautiful. You're successful. You're abundant. You've transformed your whole entire life. They, you're the Empress in the Minor Arcana here, Divine Feminine Energy. Um, and I feel like um, they know that you're worthy of love. Okay, they may feel completely unworthy of you right now because they're in the Ten of Wands energy, really. They're in this Ten of Wands Hermit energy, okay? feeling a lot of pain they they've got so many burdens and you don't i feel like this person is um they're accepting things but in a really scary way okay um they're feeling like they don't have a lot to offer you right now or you'd be better off with this emperor and and to be honest with you um this emperor coming in is going to be like a perfect match for you and they know it. It's true. I'm just getting like scary energy off of this person. Okay. I don't like how this feels. I feel like they need to speak to a professional. Yeah. People are like on top of them here trying to get them to get some kind of help. And I feel like they don't want to. Um, they're constantly obsessing about you. They're very, very guarded. I feel like people may be arguing with them, fighting with them, maybe trying to figure out what's wrong with them because they, um, they're very sluggish. There's times when I feel like this person doesn't even want to get out of bed. Okay. They're trying to get them to... I feel like they want them, they want this person to like kind of shake off some kind of funk or sluggishness and that's not what this is. Yeah, it's because you're leaving their life and you're an earth angel. You know, when, you, when an earth angel touches somebody's life, they can't forget about it. They can't just get over it. And if this person did something to harm you and hurt you, um, that is seriously clawing on their conscience okay it is they can't forget what they did they're they're feeling very guilty they're feeling like they um they're feeling very unworthy of you they know you're leaving them behind they know they're never going to find a replacement for you like this person is looking at possibly ending up alone right alone in their old age they're thinking about this yep and you're moving on you are you you're strong you're confident you're making big bold boss moves you're very loving you're very peaceful very knowledgeable very smart i mean you have everything there it's like every queen is inside you all right and I feel like, um, yeah, they, they're kind of looking at themselves like they're worthless and that their future is going to be nothing except for pain. And they don't want to go on like that. 
I feel like they're friends, they're family. They're trying to give this person some strength, trying to get them up. And this person doesn't want to. Yeah, I feel like they're, you know, they just, they, all they keep thinking about is you. They may, um, somebody may be trying to hook this person up with someone else. Or they could have gotten with someone else while they were in separation with you who took them just for their money. So this person feels used and betrayed on top of it. And collective, you could be a Virgo. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe a Sagittarius. I also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius out here. Yeah, this situation is done. It's over. Um, the This wheel is turning, so it's turning in your favor here, clearly. And that's telling me a cycle has ended and a new one has begun for you. And this person, um, man, they're, they're, they're a wreck. They feel like such a fool. They feel like such a fool. But they're also feeling like this is fair. Like this is acceptance, I feel, off of your person. They are getting their karma. But it's stuff that they can't mentally or emotionally handle right now. And their friends know it. Their friends are, I feel like people are afraid for this person. Like for, yeah, people are afraid for this person. You know, and your person, I feel like um, this is their energy. Unable to sleep, unable to think about anything else. They know that um, somebody is coming towards you very quickly. I don't think this is communication. Because they honestly, they're... Um, wallowing in their pain right now uh, so I feel like this is new energy coming towards you very fast this could very well be somebody that they know somebody that's that's well respected uh, somebody that they know they can't compete with so you're about to get an emperor here an empress to an emperor in uh, an emperor to an empress in the minor arcana um, you're about to get a good match for you coming in who's going to want to commit, who's going to want to help you build generational wealth, okay? And this person from your past, they're in a really bad, scary way, you guys, just so you know. Um, I They need professional help. They need to talk to somebody. All right, what advice can you give me for my beautiful collective? They're not going to be able to get um, over you with no help. Message. Feel like maybe they um, did try to message you, and they're like they've been waiting for you to talk to them or something you may not even see these messages you could have had this person blocked for a long time um yeah you're moving on i feel like spirit has you protected i feel i'm also sensing that someone else is coming in to protect you and i feel like it's this emperor but this is you going to calmer waters cancer pisces scorpio energy here maybe gemini Yeah, this is you moving forward um, peacefully, right? Possibly keeping your moves hidden. Yeah, a change is coming in for you. Your whole life is about to change. Yeah, uh, you may even um, be getting some messages in your dreams. You could feel fatigued at this time. I feel like you're you're picking up on this person's energy. They're in a deep depression right now. It's making them feel tired. It's making them feel fatigued. They don't really want to get out of bed. You're feeling that, but you're leaving it behind anyway with a crown on, okay? <laughs> um yeah. You don't want you don't want any part of of this connection anymore maybe I feel like you wanted to see your justice but you never saw any justice you didn't get any communication you're just moving forward yep and you're clearing out this person's energy too 
So you could be burning a lot of sage, right? Um, I just had my sage lit, so, you know, that could be a confirmation for you. You could be um, getting rid of things that they gave you in the past, gifts from this person, pictures. Um, you could be throwing a bunch of stuff out, making space. I feel like the divine is um, leading you to make space for this new emperor, okay? Because you do have this emperor coming in to replace this person from your past. So you could be clearing out your closet, getting rid of clutter, that kind of thing. Maybe not even knowing why you're doing it. You just, you know, feel like you have to. It's to make space for the new. So get ready for the new collective. Um, I'm still very concerned about this person, though. Give me one on this person. Yeah, they're, they're sitting in a stagnant kind of energy. No forward movement. Feeling like there's still unfinished business because there is, but there, I don't think this person is able to finish it now. I feel like this, um, this cycle is coming to an end with a 10, okay? They're very sad. They, fe they feel alone because they're making themselves alone, like they're isolating themselves, okay? You can pick up on these vibrations. So you're going to pick up on this person's depression, sadness, maybe even their thoughts like you may you may already be picking up intuitively that this person's thinking about harming themselves i feel like you're sending positive vibes to this person though you're praying for them you may be praying for this person you know please get them the help that they need kind of thing right that's for some of you not all of you Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I have to clear off this person's energy and cleanse this energy because this is really scary energy, okay? But I do hope they find the help that they need to get through this horrible time. I mean, yeah, I can't describe how horrible they feel about losing you, okay? Okay.